Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Get a sign-up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here over Zoom with Mr. Alfie Warren ahead of what could be one of the biggest nights of your management career and the rest of the team at Warren Boxing Management, mate. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. All good. Oh, one minute. Sorry, mate. That's right, mate. Go on, there you go. Um, yeah, no, all good, mate. All good. Um, yeah, looking forward to it Saturday. Um, the de- de- delivered the world title for Casey. Um, it's brilliant. I'm putting behind the scenes, but on um Saturday, very confident the outcome. So, yeah, I just can't wait for it. Yeah, we talk, spoke about it before the way you kind of got Casey Kademi away from. Pre- a previous fighter, shall we say, um, in Ijaz. And then you've kind of took him down this route and created something where there was nowhere else to go apart from this IBO world title. And as you say, it is a world title at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we had the full fight set up, I don't know how, how long ago, and the board ordered it for the British. Um, Casey... Pulled out with a knee injury. Um, he had to get that seen too. He was out for a long time. And like what we've said before, it's, it, like it was just spoiling his momentum, really, you know, um, fighting um, someone four times in a row. Obviously, it had to be ordered. We wanted a British title. But after the injury, you know, we stepped back. Uh, Marcel um, allowed Marcel Braithwaite to um, grab that opportunity, which he did. Um in, with the two fights there, I mean, even his fight ended up with a draw. I mean, he said, Ahmed comes to bring it, you know what I mean? He's 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 that bogeyman, but um, yeah, we just wanted to get away. I just wanted to get away from it. He settled down for a new trainer, and um, yeah, we had the opportunity to fight for the IBO Continental title. Also, um, they had the pleasure to work with the IBO, and we just carried on going down that route. And um, you know, two two fights um, within two fights, we got world title. And yeah, it is a world title. I mean, I've, I've seen um, you know some people comment on it and all that. Well, it's not really a world title, but you know, you, you see all these, you know, all these undisputed um, titles and the IBO titles there. I mean, if it's meaningless, they wouldn't be paying their sanctioning fees to keep the belt, would they? So, it's um, sorry about that. All right, mate. Um... Um, yeah, that's all right. I know my phone just keeps going up. Um, yeah, no. So. Um, yeah, I mean, they wouldn't pay their sanctioning fees, obviously. You know what I mean? If um, if if it wasn't a uh, proper world title, but you know, the IBO sets up some big fights, and you've seen it with Lyndon Arthur, Maxi Hughes, all these guys. You know, so Casey winning this going to set him up for some big fights in the summer, and um, yeah, that's that's what we're going to deliver for him, and really, really well deserved as well. Yeah, it certainly is. In- it's a big night all round for WBM and Nielsen Boxing. You've struck up this relationship over the past, what is it, about 18 months now. And you've really done well. And this show is going to be broadcast on the Queensbury YouTube channel. So hopefully we'll get a lot of eyeballs on Casey winning that world title. Yeah, absolutely. I just want to thank George and Queensbury for giving us the opportunity. We wanted to put it on a platform and you know they've they've um they've given us their platform to to show it on and yeah I mean they've got so many subscribers to their platform so you know I hope that everyone does tune in we're gonna um you know promote promote the hell out of it in the last cup in the last couple of days you know we've had um brilliant sponsors as well that have helped us get this over the line you know um gold shout out to Spencer Brand Gold Star Promotions who's sponsoring the show and Hype Energy Drinks. Are also sponsoring the show, you know. So we've had a lot of interest. We've had a lot of interest in um in in this fight with with Casey as well. And it just goes to show with the sort of people that want to get involved in it. And um 
Yeah, it's been, it's, it's been fantastic, these um, shows that we've been doing with uh, Milton Boxing, you know. We haven't over, we haven't over, you know, done it with the, with the quantity of shows, but the quality's been there, you know. I mean, we've got some, some good prospects coming out. Um, not as many 50-50s as what I would like, but, you know, the main event makes up for that. Um, but we've got um, a load of our prospects out and a load of um, a couple of Nielsen boxing prospects and a couple of others as well that um, are going to be, um, you know, a couple of debutants there. So we're looking forward to it. Queen's Breeze promotion, Bomber Brand as well on the bill, which is fantastic as well. Good to have some heavyweight action on there. And, um, yeah, you know what I mean, Joe? I just can't wait till Sunday morning. All the hard work's done and all that. I know, you know, my brother's have really, really been working hard behind the scenes um, for this show as well. So, you know, a massive pat on the back for them. It's been it, it's been hard, but, you know, we've delivered big time for this. And, you know, I hope we reap the rewards at, at the end of the night. Certainly, mate. And you mentioned um, a former world, IBO world champions like the Lyndon Arthur most recently. He won that title. Then off the back of that, got a massive opportunity in Saudi against Dimitri Bivol. His chance at greatness, he didn't come, go his way. But is that what you're looking at for Casey? Take this as a world title as, as well as a stepping stone for major, major fights. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, you know, we've we've um, done domestic fighters, you know, with his jad, you know, Ben Nor um, Ben Norman, all these other guys as well, you know, we've we've done the domestic scene with, you know, um and the, the, I mean there's a couple of others that we would like on the domestic scene, but the the, the other ones like um, Marcel Braithwaite, all those guys, even um up the higher weights, you go up and down the weights, you know, Prince Patel holder of the IBO Bantamweight title, you know, Marcel Braithwaite fight for the IBO Superfly. So, you know, there's fights to be made there as well. But absolutely right. The IBO is going to put him in a fantastic position and would love, you know, for that, to the opportunity to fight for one of the other four belts and one of the other four champions. You know, I know um, Bam, has is, is he moved up yet, Bam? Or is he still holding the titles and all that? I mean, I've been being told he's move, yeah. moving up. Is he moving up or is he holding titles? I think he's holding the titles for now, but we'll, we shall see. Yeah. He's pretty tight. But, that, but that's what I'm saying, you know. And, you know, you want to test yourself at that level as well. And, you know, win the IBO title, big paydays, big fights, big nights and all that. And that's, you know, that's what all boxers get in the sport for as well. So, um, you know, let's, yeah, get Saturday out of the way. It's a tough test, this Jackson Cork. I'm telling you now, it is a really, really tough test. For him, um, you know, it ain't no foregone conclusion. This is this is going to be hard, but you know, Casey's track record at your call, you know, that that's where he performs at his skin. It really does. The, the the crowds behind him, he brings a huge support. They're all on top of him, and um, yeah, I I think it's going to be something extra special in there. The atmosphere, really, really do. And um, you know, I'm I'm really really glad that it's like what we said earlier that it's going to be on a platform and for people to see, you know, indoors the sort the sort the sort of um atmosphere and the sort of, you know, buzz of the night, what he brings and all that. So I, I just can't wait for it. I really can't wait for it. And I'm super, super confident confident. Butterflies in my stomach, but super confident still. Certainly tune in to Queensbury YouTube on Saturday night for that fight. But want to move on to probably the loudest, most outspoken fighter in your stable, Alpha uh, Masood. He's got a big fight coming up against Kez Ashfak. I know he wanted Nathaniel Collins. He wanted Hopi Price, but this is another big name Brit. And uh, yeah, please, you can deliver that, deliver that for him. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, we all wanted to, we, um, you know, we was all on board for Nathaniel Collins fight. I'm very sure Nathaniel Collins um, team was up for it. As well, but the board have obviously give the mandatory to give the mandatory to Hopi Price. So you know Nathaniel's one fight out from winning his British title outright. So I could completely understand it them going that going that route. But I mean, if that if that fight ever happens, that's brilliant because there's a lot of you know a lot of tension there already from the pair of them. Um, but you know we're looking around. We um, we we was given a load of opponents. Um, to choose from. Cash Ashfat was at the top of that list. Um, offered it, really, to be honest with you, offered it to all of them. Cash Ashfat was the only one who said yes. So, you know, credit to him. And, um, 
you know, he, he's going to really fancy it with Masood, but this is going to be a big breakout year for Masood. It really, really is. You know, I've been harping on and on and on from day one how good this man is. And, you know, he showed it against Mark Leach because I'll tell you what, some um, people, you know, people who are supposed to be like well in the know, uh, you know, who was picking Mark Leach. No, it's, it's a step too far and all that. People actually telling Masood this as well. You don't need to fight. It's a step too far, you know. We know we know what Masood brings. You know, Steve knows that as well. Steve Bratt and his trainer, they're fantastic together. And, you know, the game plan went exactly how we said it was going to go. And, and he, he did, he's done a job on Mark Leach as well. So he's just, um, he, he is a very, very, very good talent. And I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm so pleased that he's getting applauded now. You know, he's worked so hard on the, you know, on the undercards, not be, not being shown on TV that much and all that. He's had a couple of fights on the, a couple of fights on the, um, on TV and all that. But now, you know, the proper fights now, this is when you're going to see his best. And, you know, from here on now, he's a championship fighter and he's going to be, he's going to be broadcasted everywhere. So everyone's going to see exactly what we know, exactly what people within, you know, the boxing fraternity in the UK know, you know, within being around the various gyms and all that. And, um, I think he's going to put a performance on on February the tenth. It's going to be another one, tough fight. But this, this like this, is what we keep saying, like the same thing with with Chat McGann, Masood, and all that. Look, they've done, you know, Chat McGann, like Casey Kadimi, all them lot. They've done, they've done all their fights now. You know, now it's time to step up, and this is when you're going to see the best out of them. You know, they need that fire in their belly. They need that fear factor for them to go out there and perform. And now, this is all these fights, but with every single one of those fighters, I'm, I'm confident putting them in those fights. I really, really am. Excellent. And you mentioned Jack McGann there. Um, yeah. Before the end of the year, um, we thought that it was kind of done that he was going to fight Samuel Andrew for the British. I think it was looking early March, maybe in London, on a Wasserman card. And then gets the announcement that he's once again been asked to fight in Saudi. Um, again, massive opportunity. And I'm sure after his last performance, His Excellency uh, loved and probably personally asked for him to go back on. But will that be Samuel Andre? Do we know yet? Is it going to be for the British title? You'll know very, very soon. You'll know very, very soon. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. a lot, lot, lot of things going on, but there will be an announcement to that fight. And, you know, everyone's, everyone's going to be pleased for it. It's the fight that everyone wants. Um, you know, more or less telling you exactly what it is, but I can't tell you it, but it will be announced. It, it will be announced, and Jack McGann will be fighting for a major title in Saudi Arabia. And um, you know, the the, the rise of what, what Jack's done, you know, honestly, it, it, it's, a, it's another story. You know, he started his he started his um um his career out with Queensbury promotions. You know, he had all those fights. He was fighting on, um, you know, the undercard of Josh Warren and Keith Galahad. He made his debut on the comeback for Tyson Fury, you know, and then ended up fighting on his undercard with Francis Ngannou and all that. And um, when COVID hit, um, his contract with Queensby ran out. Jack McGann went on the missing for a little while. Um, when he got a job there, he's getting paid. He didn't really want to box. Um, so, you know... He we um he he didn't um didn't chase up a new contract with Queensbury and then all of a sudden you know he's had a he had to kick up the arse and all that to get back in the ring from his sponsor Power of One who have just invested in him and got him to this point it's just been fantastic and we we've, we've done all our work behind the scenes to get him on the shows get him in positions get him in you know you know um what do you call it like working behind the scenes with the board of control to even get him in the position to be mandatory for the British and all that. And, you know, um, we've, we've, we've been working very, very well. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm just so glad that he's getting another opportunity in Saudi. And, you know, I always said that to him. I mean, when he was walking out last time to fight Robert Duran Jr., I went, Jack, oh, like, we need to make, I mean, we need to make a statement here because we want to be back here. We need a show. And I actually said that to him just before he walked out. I went, Jack, we need a show real knockout. He delivered it, delivered it four minutes later. So it was um, it was brilliant. And now we've been invited back. So it's, um, you know, it's a testament to 
you know how excited Jack is. They loved him over there. All the all the locals loved him after the fight. You know, I remember after the fight when he come out to go and watch the fight, and you know he was actually signing autographs for you know the locals and all that. They loved that. They, they really really loved him over there. And um, but now you know we, we we're going we're going into we're going into a massive test, massive title fight in Saudi, and um, yeah, you'll get the announcement very soon. Can't I really can't wait. It's just it's an exciting exciting first quarter of the year for our fighters, you know, and um, it just builds it up for an even bigger year for them all. Excellent. Yeah, I think that just about covers everything, Alpha. Hopefully that first quarter of the year starts off well when Casey Kademi brings back that IBO world title. And yeah, I'll uh, see you on Saturday, mate. I'll see you Saturday, Joe. Look forward to catching up with you in person, my own friend. Yeah, thank you very much, Alf. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon, mate. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Get a sign-up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now.